Hi everyone, welcome to your channel Impulse Tech. I am Yogesh. Today I come up with the fifth episode of getting started with Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython. Now in this episode, you have just seen that I have made the scaling machine using ultrasonic sensor, OLED display and the Raspberry Pi Pico. So let's see what are the things that you are going to learn in this episode. So first we will learn about how to build the circuit diagram of this project. Second, we will learn about how to interface the OLED display with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Third, you will learn about how to write the code in MicroPython. And the last, we will test our scaling machine, whether it's giving us the exact output or not. So without wasting time, let's get started. So at first, this circuit diagram might look complex to you. But let me tell you, this circuit diagram is not as complex. But if you go step by step, you can easily build your own circuit. It's very simple. So now we will follow the steps. First, we will see how to interface the OLED display with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Then we will see how to interface the ultrasonic sensor with the Raspberry Pi Pico. And then we will interface buzzer and the three LEDs as well. Okay, so let's see. This OLED display has four pins. One is ground, VCC, SCL and SDA. So ground is common. As you can see, this is in the black color. So the ground wire is common and, and connected to the Raspberry Pi Pico's ground. Now. This VCC is connected to the power pin which is 3V3 that means 3.3 volt output of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, now we have left with the SCL and SDA. So connect the SCL to the GPIO 9 of the Raspberry Pi Pico and connect the SDA to the GPIO 8 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Okay, now let's connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So ultrasonic sensor has four pins. One is ground, echo, trigger and VCC. So ground is connected to the ground pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico and echo is connected to the GPIO 1 of the Raspberry Pi Pico and trigger is connected to the GPIO 0 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. You can see here. And VCC is directly connected to the 3v3 output of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now let's see how we have connected the buzzer. So this buzzer has two terminals. One is ground and another one is positive. So the positive terminal is connected to the GPIO 2 of the Raspberry Pi Pico and ground I have connected to the common ground of the LEDs and the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now let's see how we have connected three LEDs. So green LEDs positive terminal is connected to the GPIO 3 of the Raspberry Pi Pico the same way for the orange LED and the red LED as well. So for orange LED we have connected to the GPIO 4 and the red LED we have connected to the GPIO 5 pin of the Raspberry Pi Pico. So this is very simple connection that you need to do. I hope you understood the circuit diagram of this project. So even if you don't understand the circuit diagram of this project, you can write in the comment section. So now we will see the most important part of this project that is how to write the code inside the MicroPython. Now I will walk you through the line by line code which I have written in the MicroPython. First, you need to import three libraries. One is machine library, second one is SSD 1306 and the third is time. So this machine library is specific to the hardware. That means it is specific to the Raspberry Pi Pico in order to access the features of the Raspberry Pi Pico like pin, output pin, input pin and all other different features. This SSD 1306 is specific to the OLED display and also we need to provide some delays in the code so for that we have imported the time library. Likewise in the Arduino code we need to define the pins that we are using the same thing we also need to do here as well that is pin assignment that means the definition of the pins. So I have defined here trigger pin which is connected to the GPIO 0 of the Raspberry Pi Pico as I have already mentioned you while making the circuit diagram. So in order to define the pins you need to give the variable name here I have given trigger underscore pin is equal to now this is the command which is helpful in order to define the pins which, which called machine dot pin. So this P should be capital and provide the argument which is GPIO 0 which is the pin number that you are using and as we know that the trigger pin is the output pin. Let's define the echo pin. I have created the variable called echo underscore pin and which is connected to the GPIO 1 and again this is the input pin so that's why i have defined it as a input pin dot in now define the buzzer so buzzer underscore pin 
which is connected to the GPIO 2. Can you see here? And we know that the buzzer is a output pin. So that's why I've defined it as a output pin. Now, LED 1 is connected to the GPIO 3. And as we know that the LED is the output pin. So that's why I've defined this LED as output pin. Now the same thing you need to do for LED 2 and the LED 3, which is connected to the GPIO 4 and 5 respectively. Now we need to define the OLED display. So let's see how I have connected the OLED display. So the SCL pin of the OLED display is connected to the GPIO 9 of the Raspberry Pi Pico and SDA is connected to the GPIO 8 of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Here I have created one object which is I2C. Now here I have created object I2C using the dot I2C command. And here I am using the bus 0. And also I have given the argument of SCL and the SDA pin which I am using. Here you can see I have also created one object called SSD1306 using the SSD1306 dot SSD1306 underscore I2C. Here we need to provide the resolution of the display that we are using. And also you need to provide which kind of communication that we are using. So here I am using 128 by 64 and we are using here SCL and SDA that means that means we are communicating with the display using the I2C communication protocol. Now let's see how to measure the distance using the ultrasonic sensor. Now I will explain you this code from the bottom. So if you see here I have defined one variable called distance underscore centimeter. Now in order to calculate the distance I need Pulse duration, this is 29.1 is nothing but this is the speed of the sound in centimeters per microsecond. So in order to calculate the distance you need pulse duration and the speed of the sound. So you have the speed of the sound but you need the pulse duration. Now let's see how to calculate the pulse duration. Now here you see I have defined one function called major distance. The trigger pin is sending the trigger signal while making the trigger pin low at first, after giving some delays at the last, it's again making the trigger signal low. Now we have sent the sound signal from the trigger of the ultrasonic sensor. Now let's suppose there is an obstacle in front of the ultrasonic sensor and that sound wave travels back to the echo pin of the ultrasonic sensor. In order to calculate this pulse duration, that means the duration from trigger pin to the obstacle and again that reflected sound wave comes back to the echo pin. So we are calculating the pulse duration from ultrasonic sensor trigger obstacle distance and again to the echo pin. So how can we calculate that? So in order to calculate the pulse duration I have defined here two functions one is echo underscore pin dot value and I have made it zero. We are starting the pulse. I have created one variable called pulse start. And so here you can see one function called time dot tick underscore us. So this function is basically storing the starting value of the pulse. And if that sound wave reaches back to the echo pin, then we are storing that value as well into the variable called pulse end using the function time dot tick underscore us. Now we have stored the two things pulse at the start and pulse at the end. How to calculate the pulse duration? So you will get the pulse duration by using this formula. It's very simple. Pulse end minus pulse start. That means whenever the pulse started, what is the time? And whenever the pulse end, what is the time? So if we do the subtraction, we'll get the pulse duration. Here comes the logic in order to calculate the distance. I have created here one variable called distance underscore centimeter and equal to pulse duration divided by 2. Now why I have done this? So whenever the trigger is sending the signal, that signal is reaching back to the echo pin. So we are calculating the distance from ultrasonic sensor to the obstacle and from obstacle to the echo pin. But this is a two way distance. We don't need this complete path. We need the distance from ultrasonic sensor to the obstacle only, not whole path. So that's why I have divided it by two. Now, in order to get the whole distance in centimeter, I got the speed of sound in centimeters per microsecond, which is 29.1. So that's how I'm getting the distance in centimeter. So now let's enter to the main loop, which is while. 
inside the while loop i have created one variable which is distance now i am directly putting the function values inside this variable which is measure underscore distance function as you can see i have already defined this function and this function stores the value of distance you know that now we need to display the distance value onto the oled display so we are using this basic commands in order to display the values it's very simple now here i made some logic and that logic is i wanted to turn on the green led first whenever the distance is less than 12 i wanted to turn on the green led only and whenever the distance is less than 8 centimeter i will turn on the orange led and whenever the distance is very less which is whenever the distance is less than 3 centimeter then i will turn on the last LED which is red and also I will turn on the buzzer as well. that means you are too near to the sensor and at the last I have given the delay of 0.1 so this is how we can write the code inside the Thony IDE if you don't understand the code let me know inside the comment section so now I will connect my scaling machine and let's see the output on the screen so now you can see on the screen that we are successfully able to get the distance on the OLED display now let's see whether the LEDs and the buzzer are working or not so I will put my hand in front of the sensor and let's see what happens now. So the first green LED turns on when the distance is less than 12. Now the middle LED and the last LED. You can make your own scaling machine using the Raspberry Pi Pico and the ultrasonic sensor. So if you found this project useful for you, then do subscribe the channel, like the video, press the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.